Hi, I recently had a reason to log into Behavior Driven Development, BDD for short, and I must say that it is a pretty, pretty cool practice. After all, what is of real concern or value to system owners is the um, behavior of objects in the system under consideration. And BDD enables you to define um, clear cut features of the application in such a way that it can be easily be understood by human beings, those who are part of the team and those who don't really know anything about software development. And then a bonus is the fact that that same features can be tested by the programmer using codes or programmatically. Um, Cucumber, that's Ruby's, Ruby's Cucumber and PHP's Hats are examples of BDD frameworks in those two languages, that's Ruby and PHP. And they use uh, a domain specific language called Gherkin, which you that's the part, that's the your language you use to specify the features of the application and their consideration. So I decided to give it a try, and interestingly, I couldn't really find any syntax highlighting for that in my favorite ID, that's NetBeans. So I had to look elsewhere for other options. And I quickly tried uh, Gene Edit, which you can see here is the official text editor for Gnome desktop environment and it's also available on Windows. Um, so in this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to provide any syntax highlighting for any any source file. Not, but our case study will be for um, Gherkin. So let me show you an example of how the file looks like. Let me quickly run my G edit on Windows 7. Okay, so this is it. I'm going to open an example feature. Yes. So let me open this. Yeah. Now, so typically this 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 is an example of a a feature specification or feature detail for a sample application I I just tried out. Now, Gherkin has a limited keyword, so I don't particularly need any uh, auto completion anywhere. I just want those keywords to be highlighted. So immediately you take a look at the file, you know where those things are. So basically, if you you are running gene unit gene edit, sorry, this is what we get. No syntax highlighting whatsoever. At the end of the day, this is what we want to do. We want to have this comment, this line, which is a comment to be commented out. We want it to stand out from the rest. This feature is a keyword. Scenario is a keyword. Scenario outline is a keyword. Scenarios is also a keyword. We may, and then this happens to be variables or let's call them templates right what it means is at any given point in time this the argument to be used or the value to be used there will be picked from this table that we have right so the name should match do you have the num items num items it will supply it to 50 it depends on how you do it but we are not looking into bdd now we are just looking into how to provide syntax highlighting now uh, for you to do that is pretty simple. You just need to find out where um, Gene Edit was installed. If you're on Windows, it's, it's a pretty simple stuff. So yours will probably be somewhere here. I have it in C program files, Gene Edit. So we'll go to the Gene Edit folder, and then so let me quickly do that. This is the Gene Edit folder. And then go to the share folder and then go to jtk source view 2.0 which is that and then locate the languages folder once you have this all 
customization all syntax highlighting for new language would be placed here um all you need to do is to create a jacking.lang file here which i have already i pretty much have such a file so let me let me just copy and paste it there shared so i'm going to copy this file and paste it over there and let's let me just walk you through the content so drag and open it Uh, by the way for Linux users you can locate that directory by just running this command so let's locate uh, JTK view JTK source source view and let's I see. Okay, so Linux uses this is how you locate that particular directory. So you can just go to this particular location and then you dump the file and then I'll create a new file with the contents you are about to. I'm about to walk you through. Now, so this is all it takes for us to provide syntax highlighting for our file. It is just a simple stuff. So you provide the name of the file dot dot lang, right? Um, and then, as you can see from the content, it's purely an XML file. You provide the ID. You provide this name. This name is is pretty much important because um, that's what is going to be presented to to the user. Let me quickly. I'll I'll, I'll show you that particular part, right? And here you just tell it that any any file which gets open in um, Gene Edit with an it should just try to provide automatic highlighting, and this is the um, the mask right. So if it sees any file with the an extension dot feature, it's going to automatically provide this use this as the um, file to provide the syntax highlighting. Now, in in this particular session. You just need to provide the definition of the styles um and when i mean styles i mean how how you want those particular keywords or those particular um again keywords to to appear within your source file so the most important thing is if you create a lot of um styles right you, you have a, a nice way of assigning it to each of the keywords or each of the words that you want to be highlighted so here if you look there's this keyword which is the happens to be the id which will, will make use of it over here if you look at this particular part the id we are calling it steps keywords and we just made a reference to it over here um here the map to the map to it says it's mapped to def column keyword by default there are already defined um styles in the system that we can use so you just sort of like inherit so we say in a system you should map onto the keyword defining the def um the def file if you look into the system you you see something similar so that's basically pretty much it so you can create as many styles as you want now inside the definitions so you use the same id over here the id that we provided over here you put the same thing over there we don't want any spell checking so we just turn it turn that particular feature off now for that trial words that you want to be highlighted this is where the keywords comes into play right and sometimes it's important you need to know a little bit of um of um, regular expressions because almost all the keywords that are trapped it, it, it makes use of regular expressions so if you look at this particular step we we just created a context and then we call it we called it um steps keywords and then we say the style should be should reference what we've defined at the top there which is this steps keywords right now 
we could have decided to branch all of these keywords the words that we want to be highlighted we could have branched all of this thing into just one right so we don't really have um to worry about any other thing but then the reason is if you bunch all of them there you cannot provide specific styling i mean the color to use for each of those words so it's important you do as much separations as you want probably if you want your feature to have a different color if you want a background to have a different color then we'll have to like remove this background from from here instead of letting it um be part of this what it means is all keywords that are part of a certain context will have the same look and will have the same look right as as the rest of the other other keywords within the same context so here we just provided a basic um one we have a context and then we provided the style so all of these all of these keywords that we want to be highlighted will we'll use the same color based on the definition we have in there um and here we have a comment and what you are saying is anything which starts with um with an hash sign and then runs to the end of the line because we want to run to the end of the line we, we, we are taking it as a comment and this part is pretty much important because if we don't tell it that it should um end as line and it's equal to true it's going to run apply this particular coloring to the entire file to the end of the file so this particular part is pretty much important here we want the feature to be a little bit different so we created a different context for it just to demonstrate what i was saying and then we map it to the feature um style that we define at the top we want all of these keywords to have a certain color the same color right so i just call them constructors i mean i could have changed the name to anything and then i just reference them i said their style should be constructors um here we have variables right so the definition is they're supposed to be in angular brackets so i say match anything which is in angular bracket and it's so so simple all you need to make use of is know your regular expressions um and then the last one happens to be the arguments parts the the actual values that are used in the in the in running that particular feature um if you look at this particular part we are making use of other context that has been defined there are certain contexts which have well-known definitions so you don't necessarily need to make use of them you can you don't necessarily need to um redefine yours you can just make use of the one which already exists so this ref def decimal floats string they've already been defined in the system so basically this is the simple content of our file now once we are done we can open our feature file again and then based on our definition everything should be highlighted as we expected it to be if you remember this all these keywords these keywords we this, we group them together and then we assign them to a certain specific styling that's why you have all of this this are the variables we said anything in angular bracket should have this particular color that's what you have um these are some keywords and based on the styling we give them that's why you are seeing this now the comments if you remember when i showed you the file we said anything which starts with a hash and then continues to the end of the line should have this particular color and this is a table definition and we said the actual values in the table should have this color based on the definition we have you are liberty to use any color you want to let your syntax highlighting look the way you really want it to be it applies to current editing so if if i i enter and then i put hash sign it automatically understand this document so based on the rule we have there to apply it this is a sample comment thank you for watching this screencast